Hi there, this is Pete Howard, Director of Concert Posters for Heritage Auctions. And boy, take a look at this poster, a first ever Heritage offering. It is that rare. What a marvelous piece from the David Swartz Concert Poster Collection. I mean, what a poster, what a story, right? What a band, and what an event, Altamont, oh my gosh. Um, there's, you know, the posters only has about a dozen words on it, but you can see the words and they, they say it all, boy. So this poster is comprised, of course, of this iconic photo of the new Rolling Stones with Mick Taylor, who's the center person in the picture, replacing Brian Jones, who had died about six months earlier. So, you know, some say that um, Altamont, as consequential as it was, therefore, is one of the three most important rock fests ever, along with Woodstock and Monterey Pop. And when you think about all the, everything that's swirled around Altamont, it's certainly, as I said, is more consequential than like a Miami Pop or the Atlanta Pop Festival or this or that. So perhaps it's right there with, you know, Woodstock and Monterey Pop. Now, I love this uh, condition here on this. It is in near mint condition. That is just really, when you, when you can get that unrestored near mint condition, that's, that's really sweet. So, well, Altamont, what can you say about it? Everybody knows what happened that day. Um, it was, you know, planned by members of the Jefferson Airplane and the Grateful Dead's manager, Rock Scully, and uh, the Stones manager, road manager, Sam Cutler. And um, the show was to include the Grateful Dead, but you know, the dead heard about the violence that was going on that day and they canceled out and that was one of their better career moves, I'm sure. You know, it's crazy with this last minute change of location and everything, the, you know, the uh, Livermore was not the idea and the Speedway was just not the best setting. And so the darn stage, we have to really wrap our head around this, 39 inches off the ground. Can you imagine a star of the Stones' importance and all the support bands that did play as well, the airplane and everything, and the, the stage, 39. So obviously it got crowded once the music got going, but at some point you could weasel your way up and what was a stage at your waist or something? And you're sitting there watching, you know, and there's Jagger and the Stones. I mean, that's just a formula for trouble. So of course, the Hells Angels, which were hired for security, they had to sit on the front of that stage and keep people off. And of course, that was really a, what do they say, a formula for, you know, four problems, and that's exactly what did unfold indeed. So Hell's Angel Alan Pissarro was arrested for the murder of Meredith Hunter in front of the stage, but he was acquitted a couple of years later by a jury when they saw that Meredith Hunter was brandishing a gun and was high on meth. So that's the way that went down. But, you know, the, the festival has really had long-term ramifications and stayed at the forefront of everybody's minds. Some call it the end of the 60s. Well, get this, in 2008, an FBI agent actually stated that the Hells Angels plotted to murder Mick Jagger afterwards. This is from Wikipedia, I think. And Jagger was staying on Long Island, and as they approached, his residence by boat, uh, you know, a big storm was going on and the boat practically got swamped and sank and so the plot was aborted. But how different would history have been since then, musical history, if that plot had gone down? That's just, you know, it ad all adds to the mystique and the sympathy for the devil theme of the stones at this moment in this poster. It's just very, ooh, you know, and, but the thing is so darn rare. You just never, well, look, Heritage has never had one. I mean, it never, I've never had a chance to buy one as a collector of 30 years. It just, you know, it's just very, very limited distribution at the show. And um, last year, one sold for $40,000. So, you know, the, the hobby and the, the poster community gets how important and likewise how rare this poster is. So we're really looking forward to seeing what kind of action comes down. Uh, again, in the David Swartz Concert Poster Collection auction on the Friday, April 12th. Okay, so we'll see you there. And to uh, get a longer story and some more peeks at this poster, just drop by ha.com slash 7363.